Well, here we are the next day. It was 10 o'clock last night when I had this boiling. And I've got putting some uh, wood inside just to get it superheated. I have it painted now. Now one thing I did not do is I didn't put any vermiculite or sand inside. This is light and portable and it doesn't really get all that hot on the outside that I care about. Today I'm going to start making a rocket stove out of a Freon cylinder. This is an old, old cylinder. It's been around for quite a few years and used a lot of times and been drained properly. And I got the garage clean so I'm allowed to play with stuff again. So we'll see how this thing goes here. I'm going to knock the ears off there first. It looks like it's welded uh, around there pretty good, so might have a couple issues. We'll deal with it as they go. Well, this tank is mighty old. Like I say, I did uh, chisel off the top of it. It is a one piece, and it made holes. So you can tell it's empty. It's not hissing or anything. That's all the, all the better. We're going to take care of all that when we weld it all back up. Well, the stem didn't want to come off, but I was able to uh, persuade it to. Next step, get a uh, circle put in it, get it cut out, drill out the center, drill out the face of it, Make my pipe, weld it together. Shouldn't take too long. I'm as primitive as possible to mark this. Got a nail and a stick, drill the hole, have my black pen, stick it in the hole, and draw it around. That there will make the top of the thing and able to get the tube down. Inside. What I've done is I've drilled two little holes here. This is fairly thin metal. So I'm going to take my jigsaw. I'm going to cut an angle. So I'll be overlapping where I'll have enough uh, metal hopefully to set this right back in place and upside down and weld it back in. Make a beautiful spot for a burner where the pan will hold up uh, by itself. This is something I've never seen anybody else do and I thought what the heck, I can be the first. We'll get it cut out and I'll show you what I'm doing. Well, there's all kinds of things I could have done. I could have drilled a whole bunch of holes around it and hammered it out with a chisel, I guess, but I got worked. I took uh, two blades Luckily, my last and third blade uh, finished the job, so we'll go ahead and get the top cut to the size of the pipe. i got to go find the pipe first so I know what size cut that, and that'll be next. Why is it the only piece of metal I can find is galvanized? It's big enough. Now I'll just have to make sure it doesn't get above uh, 1,200 degrees. Get it out or burn it out good. Well, it cuts fairly easy. I get it set up in the jig and weld it up.
will be basically like that. You know, get it uh, do a little bit of body work on the metal, get it tapped around, and uh, you have this really nice top, inverted uh, top. First time ever done that I've seen. Well, it might be a little hot yet. I'm taking any chances. Just got to get in here where we can put it all together and weld it up. I did get my piece cut to length. Although I guess you had to get everything tacked in place, make sure it all looks good, and weld it up the rest of the way. Well, as you can see, the edge, you have a little bit of gap. What I'm doing is tapping the edge, which is closing up the gap. Which makes it very weldable. We'll get this done and I'll show you what the results are. And there you see my fine skills as a craftsman. I was able to spot weld that as I went around tapping it down. You see there's very little gap anywhere. So now I should be able to weld that up with the wire feed here. The flux core. We'll get this thing welded up and show you what that looks like. Well, that's welded around... Uh, one time, that's that flux core crap. Now I got to weld the center up, then I'll uh, clean it up a little bit here. Although there's real no need to clean it up, other than maybe it's a little rough. Get that taken. Well, that's got to be the ugliest welding I've ever done. Remember why I don't use too much of that flux core, but it did the job. I could say real ugly, but it works. Okay, I know it looks like R2-D2 now, but I took the handles and welded them on on the sides. That way I can grab it, dump it all out when I'm uh, done with it. Put it on the pack, and <coughs> away I go. Okay, so you can see on the top I welded on three pot supports. That way the pot will sit level with the uh, three of them being there uh, evenly. It can sit down inside or it can sit up on top. Either which way it should get a maximum amount of BTUs on the pan. Next thing is to cut the shelf for the firewood. That'll be easy. Well, you can see this teapot has uh, gone through more than one of my experiments. We'll get this lit up and See how it goes. I've got about three cups of water in here. I've got my three-way burner support. That way any size panel fit on. This just happens to be the size of the opening that was welded. 
I don't know how long uh, the tail will last if we get this thing licking up flame, but what the heck, it's a donor pot. I think I found that at the uh, Value Village. Okay, in true redneck fashion, I'm going to take this wood here and do whatever I can do. Maybe a little bit of antifreeze uh, for the gas tank. Do whatever I can do to make this thing work. Gotta have something to get started with, right? I'm sure that's too much. And I do have heat coming up, so I'm going to get my water on. I don't think that Bessie's uh, bell is going to ring, but hopefully she'll whistle for us. It's 9.44 in the evening, and we're just getting started. So remember, 9.44 is when we started. We'll get back to you directly. We've got cats getting in danger here. Yep. we got flame and stupid cats. I would like to note that the trial is just a little bit smoky. I know there's flame coming out underneath. It's coming down inside. So everything's working the way it should. This is uh, maple. It should have been dry. I'm just wondering if I don't have enough gap between the pots. I've got good flame coming up, so I really shouldn't have smoke. Maybe it's just getting getting fair to started. I don't see any smoke now. We gotta have the steam going there now. And it's ten oh two. So I'd say we got a rolling boil. why somebody got rid of this, this whistle. with the sand or the vermiculite inside so it doesn't get hot on the outside but I guess in a cold weather situation you might want a little heat around you. It's, it would be uncomfortable to touch the canister right now which obviously would be putting off uh, some heat. I 
And then this fine piece of uh, rusted uh, memorabilia is my $100 or less project. Let's take a rusted out old uh, uh, wood stove and make it into a usable wood cook stove again. So I made a rocket stove here that uh, does a fine job of uh, cooking again. But obviously this is a square tube rocket stove here. And I have a metal grate up here. We don't have it going right now, but... And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a gasifier on the back burner for high. And then one of the other projects, I'm going to make a chimney stove oven inside the oven. That's something to come, though. You'll see that uh, eventually. You have to keep watching for the videos, so. though. Well, it's only taken uh, 10 minutes today to get six cups of water boiling. And very little wood. I've got all this wood here yet that I cut just to get it to go. And This thing works absolutely wonderfully. If you haven't made yours yet, it's a good bet it'll work.